cannot believe that it is already the end of summer. It went by so fast. We still have a little bit left, especially if you live in those warmer states. I wanted to share this at the end of summer so that I could share before pictures, after pictures, some progress clips that I've taken along the way. Also be sharing some of the tools and fertilizers that I use to keep my plants healthy. And you can use some of these to keep your plants healthy all the way through fall. But before I get into today's video, I wanted to say a warm welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Stephanie and I have gone through a name change over to Home Sweet Hearth and I'm taking a new direction because I really want to share homemaking inspiration. That is something that I'm so passionate about and I have decor hauls, decorating videos, cozy recipes planned for you guys. If you want to be notified of upcoming videos, then click the red subscribe button down below and ring the bell so that you're notified of videos as I upload them. So here are some of the clips of what our deck looked like before. We brought out the table and chairs from the basement. That's where we store them in the winter months. It's pretty bare out here right now, but we wanted to spruce it up. And first I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looked like before we did anything so that you can see what a difference that you can make by adding some simple decor and plants to your outdoor space. So let's go grab some supplies and I'll show you guys the progress. I keep my watering cans over here in the mudroom just for like quick access. This one I got at Target last year and it's more of like a rainfall type one, it's like a three gallon, it's pretty huge. And then this one I just got on Amazon and it is so cute. The little skinny spout just kind of lets you get closer to the root and I just like to kind of keep them together here so I can quickly fill them up and use them. Just came back from the hardware store so this pot I got, it's just a little bit shorter and wider and I thought it was really pretty and simple. This is actually gonna I think take the lavender and then this one I got for um, the tomatoes at this one because it coordinates with the other two. It's pretty small. They gave me that for free with it. So we got some steaks for the tomatoes and then some other goodies like a hummingbird feeder and stuff like that. Here's the hummingbird feeder that we got. If I thought this was really pretty, I'm going to hang this outside my kitchen window so that I can kind of see them fly up. I've been using these water storing crystals also by Miracle Grow and they are great for helping um, plants to protect them in times of hot weather and drought. So apparently they like hold the water and then like release it when the plant needs it. So Boyful Dirt is off Amazon. This thing is tiny, $15, but the reviews are like amazing on it. And it's all purpose, just fertilizer, and you can mix it with your water to put at the root. And then I just got this fish fertilizer just to kind of like give them a boost. You're supposed to do this like once every like three weeks, so we'll give our plants some extra food. And then I also picked up these plant labels. I thought they were kind of cute because they're like squared off. I was gonna use popsicle sticks, but these are pretty cheap at the hardware store. So they have like a little steak and you just label them. I got this little hanger for the hummingbird feeder. It'll go like right off the house. We got some additional cilantro seeds because cilantro we actually learned, I thought I just killed it last year, but apparently you need to drop seeds every few weeks in order to keep like a constant harvest. So that's kind of what I got today. We're gonna get back out there and do some potting and I will show you guys as it kind of starts coming together. I'm gonna show you guys the deck. Okay, so we already had this table and chairs. They're from Pier 1. I got them on clearance. Well, I got the table on clearance last year. So sad about Pier 1 going out of business because we really loved them for our patio stuff. So actually the pillows and the seat cushions are also from there. Just really love this blue. And then I alternated the pillows. And right here in the middle is actually some lemon balm. And this is supposed to be a natural mosquito repellent. So that's why I put it in the middle of the table and I found like a pot that was a, kind of like a lower height so that that way it doesn't affect people like trying to talk across the table. Here are the stairs going down and we really didn't do anything here but I did hang a little hummingbird feeder here. I have only seen one so far. Down here we really didn't do much. We just left the trim and honestly we didn't hardly clean this up. This will have to be like an extra thing with along with this side of the house but this is a hydrangea and it's doing fine but we realized that the sprinklers weren't hitting it so that's why these plants are kind of struggling. My mom brought those over 
but we're not watering them so they should be okay and then all along here my hanging pots are these super cute yellow flowers and they're just gorgeous when they're in full bloom like this um, the only thing is is that they kind of like bloom die off and then bloom at separate times but they're really nice and they've been doing really well they do need a lot of water and then right here I just kind of did like some pots on different tables these are tomatoes they're actually like cherry tomatoes this plant was like literally like seven inches when I got it and it is huge now there's like 40 tomatoes on it so we're really excited for them to turn red and be picked this is the pot that you saw earlier we did put the lavender in it um, this reason this one's smaller is my dog decided to eat it he climbed and liked the taste of the fertilizer and then we have this little geranium I put in the matching pot I really like how all of these coordinate and all of those are from ace hardware actually they were really cheap I think this one is like 25 bucks and that one was like $19.99 and this was like $7.99 this table is new and that's from Amazon so it's like a teak wood table very easy to assemble, not too expensive. I'll link it below if I can find it still. And then that table was from Pier 1 back in the day. Ross got it for me and I've had it since Arizona. And then this is a citronella candle, my little daisy. We're in between blooms right now, but that's a super pretty plant. So I really like how that corner turned out. And then here is the shelf. I have a little flower box there with some green onions in it. My mint, if you saw it earlier in the video, was so small and now look at it. It is like thriving over here. This was a gift from my mom last year. I got this on overstock.com. I'll link it below. And these are begonias. We just had a few extra and I really like how they turned out in that pot. This is a windowsill plant that is struggling, but we're trying to bring them back to life and then basil and it has gotten huge but I've trimmed it back just to keep it fresh and then this cute little flower is blooming again my picture back there I had so not too much new stuff but I really really love how that turned out So I wanted to give you guys some end of summer updates on these plants really quick and I'm just gonna take you through as fast as I can and just say which ones I will be growing next year and which ones I might not and kind of what happened. Most of them have held up. So this is the lemon balm. You can see it's very bushy, loves to be trimmed, loves water, loves sun. This has been a great centerpiece because I do think it keeps the bugs away and it grows very easily. So I will definitely be doing that again next year and I like this little pot. I didn't really talk about this pot because we picked it up in July, but this has been really pretty. The only thing is it's a little bit heavy for me to get down so I don't know if I'll do something quite so big next year I just love this hanging stuff it's been really really pretty okay my tomato plant has been one of my favorites this is actually called fantastic tomatoes and they are a cherry tomato and they are just still producing like crazy it likes to be watered like around the rim I'll sometimes just trim off anything low or any of the extra runners that aren't producing usually I'm picking like three four a day and I've enjoyed making like fresh bruschetta and having fresh tomatoes all summer long. So I will definitely do this again. I hope I can find the same variety because this thing did so well and this was a great pot for it too. The daisy slowed down a little bit. It's not producing quite as many flowers as it was, but I really enjoyed having them in the windowsill all summer. And we've got this one beautiful Lone Ranger left. Likes a ton of water and sun. Probably my favorite is the lavender. It has just started to bloom. If I would have let it, it would have bloomed sooner, but I've been trimming it off because I heard that the best flavor is when it's kind of budding, but not bloomed quite yet. I've loved making lavender lemonades this summer. I just clip it off and I put it in the lemonade and I let it soak. You do want to make sure that you get the kind that you can eat. Eat. There's like culinary lavender and non-culinary, so make sure that you get the kind you can eat. Don't just eat any lavender, but this has been so fun and it's really taken off in August. These little yellow flowers have been kind of funny. They like close up and reopen and close and reopen. They love the spring. They don't like too much sun, but they love, love, love water. So as long as you're giving them enough water, then they have done really well and they've been really cute back here. I'll probably do something like that again. I don't know. I'm not committed to these for next year, but I've really liked them. Hummingbird feeder was not as popular until just last week and we have had constant hummingbirds. I refreshed the food and we have had just constant. I was hoping to catch one today on camera. It has been so much fun. They'll just come right up and eat while we're sitting out here and eating dinner. 
my hostas are doing really well they're starting to bloom the hydrangea is not like a fan of this spot so I don't know if that's gonna come back we'll just have to see what it does we might have to do something else there but we'll have to see look at my mint this thing produced all summer long this side is actually mojito mint and I think I like the mojito mint better than the spearmint but the mojito mint didn't do as well the spearmint kind of took over sorry we're getting a little shatter right now but it has been gorgeous in that box all summer long I loved it and it is just so flavorful and nice to have around for water this geranium loved me until last week doesn't love me anymore it's over I think I trimmed it wrong the begonias are thriving and they're gorgeous in this pot this is just kind of a fluke because we had some extra from our landscaping out front but they have done so well and have been adorable in this pot so I will probably do that again next year for sure Sure. I still need to kind of like look up what comes back next year and what doesn't but I know these don't these are zinnias They've really taken off it's like a jungle plant. <laughs> it's like got an arm and my basil plant is still going strong It was a little bit more bushy, but I totally overworked it having so much bruschetta So I'm gonna give it a tiny little break This likes a lot of Sun and water and I actually have like a little mister That's just to kind of give it a little moisture on the really really hot days it Likes warm soil so you can plant it with like tomatoes green onions. This has been amazing I like sweet basil so much more than the lemon basil. I think sweet basil is delicious to cook with. We use this constantly. I've made bruschetta. I've put it in our pasta dishes and stuff like that. I might even try to keep this one alive in the windowsill. It grew successfully in the windowsill in the spring, but I just haven't tried during the winter before. If you've ever grown it in the windowsill during the winter months successfully, then let me know what I need to do in the comments. It grows in patterns of two, so you want to pinch it off in patterns of two. Is something that I learned. Spent a lot of time on Google this summer learning about plants. The shelf has held up really well. It hasn't even fallen over in a storm at all. So this thing, I actually recommend it for just a hundred bucks. It's not like really solid wood. It's kind of like particle board, but if you set it back in a nook like this, it is totally strong enough to hold all your plants and not fall over. Highly recommend the table. It's off Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. It has held up all summer and I might get another one next year. I really like this one. I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you like this type of video. I will go ahead and put my fall playlist right here for you guys to get you in the mood for fall, pumpkin spice, everything. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.